Welcome, Washita County Artisans. In a little different location <clears throat> this morning, or today, I'm out in the old truck. And I wanted to share a little bit with you and some thoughts. Now, several years ago, we were heading out on a Sunday morning. And uh, we were going the same direction that we always go. And as we were just out of town to the first crossroads, there was an individual who came off the crossroads and hit us in the front part of the truck that we had at the time, literally took the driver's door off the pickup, rolled us over into the ditch upside down. Now, that's not a good thing. And we still, uh, Linda and I both, or Miss L and I both, <laughs> I'll get that right in a minute. But uh, we, uh, we still have difficulties because of that wreck. And I wouldn't call it an accident because I believe that the individual was probably not paying attention. But anyway, I have uh, noted in the past that at that uh, crossroads, it's a bad crossroads. You can see nearly a mile uh, one way up that crossroads and probably a half a mile the other way. So it's not that it's a blind situation, but it's a situation where people don't pay attention. Now, I have worked several accidents at that corner. And I have seen several people in that in that exact ditch. And uh, there's been some, some terrible tragedies right there. So we're always careful. But it was one of those Sunday mornings. And I was in a fizzle and I was running the speed limit or probably a little less knowing me. And we were heading out to go to church. We had a special speaker that day. And uh, we were heading down there and uh, we got to, like I said, just right outside the edge of town to the crossroads. And boom, literally, we ended up rolling into the ditch. Uh, our pickup was upside down. We both had on our seat belts like we needed to. Um, I'm a pro 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 can't talk today proponent. <laughs> I'm a proponent of seat belts. Now, I've seen them <clears throat> every once in a while. Not be a good thing. But I would suggest that the majority of the time that I've worked wrecks, uh, they've been something that may have saved someone's life. And I've cut many people out of vehicles uh, during my time as uh, a firefighter and EMS. So I've kind of been to those kind of situations. I've seen it where they didn't wear their seatbelt and they were thrown out of a vehicle. But one of the things that I want to encourage you, and that is to make certain that you can back up whatever happened in an accident or a wreck. Because when it really comes down to it, it's one person's word over the other. Now, for our situation, we were on a highway and they were on a side road. They come off the side road and never slowed down for the stop sign. The impact made that very evident. Now, <clears throat> I have studied about impacts in my life, uh, being with the EMS and all of those things. But one of the things Miss L and I have done, and it doesn't matter what the situation is, we run a dash cam. Now, I'm going to take this one down. If I can get it down, usually it likes to fall down. But over the years, or not over the years, but since the wreck, we installed a dash cam here in all of our vehicles. Doesn't matter. 
they also make some pretty good videos if you, <laughs> yeah you know going down the road videos they do they really work really well but anyway this is one that we've had here in the truck for quite some time and uh, as you note it's kind of getting a little bit frayed because it's ridden in here a long way so recently and that's what i'm out here for recently we were over at the store and they had a dash cam a new one which we need a new one this one's been out here a long time but we had a new they had some dash cams there on sale well this is the dash cam and i've taken it out of the box but this is the one that we got and it was uh 32 88 was the original price and we gave 25 dollars for it now today i've slipped out here and i got to get it out of my pocket i got it in my pocket <laughs> but it's the same brand but it's another dash cam that i'm going to install here in the truck and uh, hopefully uh, we can get it to working uh, like it's supposed to uh, they're not too hard to set up now this one um, is a 1080p high resolution dash cam it also has wi-fi now i don't think we're going to be using the wi-fi in it uh, it did come with the sd card which uh, sd cards are quite pricey if you just buy them now every once in a while i'll find uh sd cards or flash drives or something they'll have them on the sale and i'll buy several and miss l will say what are you buying them for well i use them <laughs> i tell you what i don't keep stuff on them a, a lot but i use them well the, the flash drives i do keep quite a bit of stuff on that uh, i usually uh download all of my files and all of that to a external hard drive i have a two gigabyte hard drive and a one gigabyte hard drive so i keep a lot of stuff on those but on this one it uh it has a good resolution should be able to uh get some good footage uh just going down the highway and, and sometimes you know you see some things on the highway and things run across the road or whatever and uh and it's pretty neat to go back and to look at that and to maybe even save it this one has the, mo the motion sensor on it which is a good thing that way if you have it in your vehicle where it doesn't go off whenever you turn off the key uh it will censor anything that goes on around your vehicle so if somebody messes with your vehicle at least it comes on now all of these that i know of have audio so if someone says something uh around your or in your vehicle it, it it'll it'll get it so if <laughs> if you're in the city and them crazy people's driving and you go to well you better watch out because you've been recorded so it's just this one way or the other so anyhow this also has the loop recording where when the sd card gets full it just goes back and, and starts videoing over that i have used this one the video off this one before now this one is going to go in the blazer we did not have one in the blazer right now uh we had moved the one out of the blazer into the tracks when we had the tracks because we wasn't driving the blazer a lot uh, we sold the tracks and i sent the camera with it so that the individual who is now driving the tracks which is our daughter uh, would have a camera because she needs a camera so we did get this new one i'll get it around here and for 25 bucks it's worth a lot in case something does happen if someone pulls out in front of you uh, like they shouldn't and does something illegal 
then you have a record of their actions. If you mess up, if you mess up, you got a record of your actions too. So it's a two-way street on, on these little things. I'm looking over here. I've got some little dogs uh, coming up the driveway here at the ranch. I don't know where they're from or what. They're, I know where they're from. I don't know what they're doing. Let's put it that way. They usually haven't been uh, been over here for a while. But anyway, I'm going to get this thing set. And I'm going to put it up here on the windshield. And uh, we're fixing to, to take off and uh, be gone for a, an hour or so. We've got to go down to the to the store and if I can get this little jewel out of here there it comes I'll take that off it's on the back on the screen you can't see that because you see it's clear but I'll put it down here in Miss L's trash can <laughs> tell you what. Uh, the key thing is this so even though you can get some good video wide-angle video on these and it's pretty neat. And, I, you know, we even used some of the video off of it whenever we were storm chasing. Because it would be right there and, and we would catch things uh, on it. Uh, but the key thing is, is to be safe. And to make certain that if something does happen, that you have it recorded. And we live in a, in a world today that everything is recorded. So get out. Get you one of these. They're not very expensive. Put one in every vehicle that you own. That way you know if something happens, you have a record of what's going on. We are very thankful that you take the time and opportunity to watch our videos. We are working diligently to grow our channel. And we need your help. Uh, I know... Uh, there's a lot of stuff out there on YouTube and Facebook that you can watch. But we want to encourage you to help us grow this channel. Help us get to a point that uh, it can be a, a good thing for us and to help us out. Because that's what we do this for in a way. Is to get it to the point that it helps us out. Also that we be an encouragement to others. That we can uh, lift you up bless you and uh, help others with some ideas some thoughts in life so please if you would share our videos uh, like them uh, on uh, YouTube we ask you to uh, subscribe to us please uh, that would be a blessing it'd be great for us is for you to subscribe give us the thumbs up like us uh, ring that bell, uh, leave us a little little message. We'd appreciate that. I don't get very many messages right now, but we, we'll be blessed to get them. And we'll try to get to them and read them as we can. Uh, on the uh, Facebook, of course, share and follow us there. Uh, this is Washita County Artisans. Now, I'm going to probably put up a video of some of the woodwork stuff that we have completed of recent, which we've got some stuff that's coming out of the shop and some other things that we're doing. Uh, we also got a new vinyl cutter <clears throat> that we're going to be using, and I'll be making a video about the vinyl cutters because I've had a little set to with one of the companies. Well, that's on a later video. Anyway, that's the way it goes. But thank you so much for being here. And dear friends, may God bless you. And may God bless your family. And please, please share our videos.